Hello everyone, I'm going to demonstrate some quality of life improvements for MMKTOL V6. Before jumping into demo, let's change the mood. And today, I'm going to show you three items among the many improvements. First of all, I like to start with all the streaming. So, there are some clever way of making a CLI tool user's life easier when there are lots of output from a command. Let's say someone wants to list all of the users on their measuremost instance. They will probably use MMKTOL user list command. It actually uh, can take some time to retrieve all of the users, right? So we might want to show them we are working on it. So now we have a pro progress indicator for that. And also, we are now piping output into a pager. In this case, it's less. They can easily navigate through the output and also do some basic searching. And also, we don't want to open a pager if there's uh, not much of an output. Like, let's say we want to list the teams in our Mattermost instance. In this case, we don't have too many, and we can fit the output into the window, so we are not opening the pager this time. And also, we are now uh, printing the output, the actual output, the uh, processes standard output. And Infor uh, informative messages to the standard error output. With this, when, when we decide to use this, uh, our command in a pipe fashion, we can now pipe the actual output to other process. In this case, it's a file. And print the other useful information, I mean, uh, statistical data, to the standard error output. When we check the output file, as you can see, there's only the actual data. The second improvement is about bug reporting. So there are some times where our tool can have some unhandled errors, or the server can return 500 level errors. In this case, it will be an internal server error. This can be a sign of a bug. Let's say MMKTL had a panic. As you can see, now we are aware of the panic, and we are also providing a link to create an issue on our GitHub page to let them report the bug where it easily. As you can see, we can collect some data from the process, like its version and other information as well. For demonstration purposes, I only included the version. And also we can ask them additional information, like reproduce steps as well. And this will simplify the bug reporting process. And the last improvement is about user inputs. Now, uh, such operations require confirmation. But you know, you don't always uh, aware of the confirmation and you can use these commands in pipes. So what happens if I decide to use this in a pipe? It actually prints the output to the output file and waits for my confirmation, but I can't because the standard input is not on my process. So in this case, as you can see, it just printed the output into the file. So, in the new version, we can actually prompt for the user and detect if the terminal is interactive shell. In this case, it will ask for them to select an option and also uh, let them know about the process. And don't worry about the user one. They were never existed on our instance anyway. So uh, thanks for listening and I will bring you back to the 32-bit uh, color world. And as always, feedbacks are appreciate it.